Hi y'all, and hello to all my fellow bullet journalists out there. A big part of bullet journaling is setting up a monthly layout at the end of each month that will go over all of the events that you have going on next month. The basic things that everyone will most likely have as part of their monthly spread is a monthly calendar and their weekly logs. But as always with bullet journaling, you can make it truly yours by adding whatever you want. I wanted to take you along for the ride as I plan out this next month of April, and hopefully something that I do will provide some inspiration for you to use in your bullet journal. If you haven't started a bullet journal yet and you're still a little hesitant to start, make sure you check out my video on why you should start a bullet journal, and I'll link that down below in case you haven't watched it yet. I like changing up my theme every month, but the pages and layouts typically stay the same because I know what works for me and how the way that I work. Last month I did a dream catcher theme, and take a look down at my blog post below if you'd like to see some pictures of what that looked like. Because my birthday is in April, I wanted to do a kind of celebratory theme for this month, and you'll be seeing how that looks like as we continue along in this video and we plan this next month of April out. Let's get started, shall we? trying out a different angle for this video, but I think going forward I'm going to stick with the aerial view during any future bullet journal videos. I'm starting here sketching out a big three layer cake with some candles on top. Then I'm going to go in with watercolors. I like making making the opening cover pages for each month uh, with watercolor. It's something I just started this year and I'm loving it. Watercolor is great for more abstract art, which I like way better than more precise art because I'm not that artistically inclined. My art medium is writing, not drawing. You'll see me making a lot of random blotches here, but I have a plan for all of them later, I promise. I'm keeping the color schemes of blues, golds, and a little bit of orange and red. I want to try to make this kind of look like firework colors. Which leads me into this next part. Once the watercolors are all dry, I'm going to go in here with my pen and draw in some fireworks on these blotches I made earlier. Again, using those colors of blue and gold with some orange. Still going with the theme, I'm writing Let's Celebrate on here, and then writing a big 22 on the cake for my 22nd birthday this month. Then on the other page, I'm going to draw in some champagne glasses and balloons. Write in the April using my black brush pen for some bold calligraphy. I cut out a piece of some confetti-themed construction paper and wrote in the April calendar dates so I can reference that in the future and put that right there um, in between the balloons. On this first page here, I'm going to write in April and draw a big firework and some balloons, just sticking with the color scheme. Then I'm going down vertically with the dates and days of the week. Here is where I'm going to write in any uh, future dates that I know of. For example, if I uh, know that I'm going to be hanging out with a certain friend on one day, I can put that in here uh, just so I don't forget. On this next page, I'm going to be making my trackers and YouTube page. I cut out this triangle out of confetti construction paper that I used earlier and wrote in trackers. My three main trackers are for Orange Theory, which I use to record my calories and splat points, and then my writing and marketing trackers. With these last two trackers, I'm making them really simple though, and just making a grid with the dates. As I go through the month, I'll just color in what days I do either one. As part of this trackers page, I'm also writing in a YouTube title section and play button, where I can keep track of my filming, editing, and posting schedule. This next page is my expense tracker. I find it really helpful to write in any important dates of bills I have that month, then write in every purchase I make in the chart, filling in what the item was, the date that was purchased, whether it was a bill or for pleasure, and then my remaining balance in my budget. At the bottom here, I'm using that confetti paper again to make a little arrow pointing to the next page, and on that arrow I'm writing no spending. Points to a chart where I'm drawn in some circles and dates, and as I go through a day without spending money on useless stuff, I fill in the dates that I don't spend money. It keeps me motivated to save money. Top of the second page, I'm writing in notes and ideas, and this then just drawing some more balloons to stick with the theme. 
Now it's time for the weekly spread. This month I'm drawing in these vertical rectangles with the day written in blue colored pencil in an abbreviated form. I'm not super precise with the line work with this because I actually really like how it looks kind of rough, makes it look a little more casual. And the beauty of the rough look is you can mess it up a little bit and it won't look too bad. In the empty spot at the top left corner, I'm just lightly coloring it in with the gold pencil and writing goals at the top. Here I'll keep track of my weekly goals. I'm skipping to the end of the month now. I made the weekly logs the same style throughout the month, so I didn't feel the need to take you along for that. I wrote in Minnesota memories here because I want to have a place I can write journal entries or paste pictures into of my trip to visit my cousin at the end of April. I like ending each month with a motivational quote about the future and writing what I learned and accomplished that month. So I'll fill that in when April comes to an end. That concludes my bullet journal spread for April. If you would like to see pictures of my pages closer up and pictures of my dream catcher theme last month, take a look at my blog post link down below. Thank you so much for coming along for the ride as I set up this month's April bullet journal spread. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos on bullet journaling, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post videos every week on bullet journaling and writing tips. I'd love to see your own April setups, so be sure to tweet me pictures or tag me in them on Instagram. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye, y'all.